so my name is Nick Moskovitz. I'm an astronomer here at Lowell Observatory, and I'm a co-investigator on NASA's DART mission. So NASA's DART mission is NASA's and really the world's first planetary defense test experiment. So we're testing the technology to deflect an asteroid if we ever are in a situation where we find one on an impact, impacting trajectory with the Earth. One of the big uncertainties in that is how much we can actually push an asteroid around in space. And the simplest way to do that is to take something massive and smash it into the asteroid and see what happens. And that's exactly what DART is doing. We're intentionally impacting a spacecraft onto the surface of an asteroid and looking at what happens. And so the big questions that we're gonna be answering are how much of a deflection do we get? How much energy can the spacecraft impart to the asteroid? And what does that do to the system um, uh, in the weeks and months following the impact? So for the DART mission to work, uh, we need to have a detailed knowledge of the asteroid before we hit it. And that has taken many people many years to get to the point where we think we have a deep understanding of the system so that once we change it with the impact, we will get a you know, sort of before and after understanding of what happened. So that pre-impact uh, characterization or pre-impact study of the asteroid has involved telescopic observations from the ground using facilities uh, involving radar dishes as well as optical telescopes like the Lowell Discovery Telescope or the LDT. The Lowell Discovery Telescope was chosen specifically by the NASA DART mission to be a contracted observatory because it has a strong track record of delivering the type of data the mission needs to be able to meet its level one requirements. The Lowell Discovery Telescope or the LDT is a 4.3 meter telescope about an hour south of Flagstaff. Um, it's Lowell Observatory's flagship facility and it really is a um, facility that's very well suited to supporting uh, observations like those needed for the DART mission. We've been using the LDT since 2015 to observe the target of the DART mission, an asteroid called Didymos. And we've been studying in particular um, what the configuration of that system is um, at a very high level of precision so that when DART arrives, we know what we're arriving at as well as uh, providing a baseline for what, the, uh, what to compare the post-impact environment to. The LDT will be tasked with two things. One is we will be monitoring the ejecta, the material that gets uh, released from the surface of the asteroid in this impact event. And then the second uh, task that we will be using the LDT for will, is to um, study the orbit period of Dimorphos around Didymos, um, and in particular measuring how that has changed after the impact. So it's sort of this two-phased approach to um, monitor the ejecta, watch it clear out, and once it's cleared out, then we can measure the orbit period of Dimorphos. So some of the important dates to keep in mind for the DART experiment, the impact is on September 26th. A couple days after that, we'll have some of the first imagery released from the mission. In particular, there's a small CubeSat that flies by and witnesses the, the plume of ejecta that's kicked off of the asteroid. And then in the weeks after that, we'll be monitoring the ejecta. And I think by maybe the end of October, we'll have a good understanding of what happened to all the material, how long it took to diffuse and disappear. Um, and then hopefully by November or December of this year, we'll have an answer to what did DART do to Didymos?